Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a roller derby Harley Quinn helmet cover tutorial for your upcoming Birds of Prey cosplay. Let's get started. Right now, as you can see, I'm tearing apart this poor, poor, cheap Amazon wig. I'm tying it together with dollar short ties and then splitting it up into about six to eight parts. Lay those pieces of hair to the side and as you can see, this is why you don't cut a cheap Amazon wig into a pixie cut. It does not turn out okay. Ugh, those wefts are so ugly. Bam. As you can see, I have a couple pieces of hair wrapped nicely into some cheap hair ties. But they were too unsturdy against the hot glue that I applied to them. So now I'm going to put them into some sturdy rubber bands. Before you now, I have my old school roller derby helmet from the good old days. I just put a layer of foam over it and started melting the foam to form around my helmet. Now if you have, you have a helmet that is nice and you want to keep it nice that you actually use on a daily, don't do this because my heat gun actually warped part of my helmet. I'm pretty okay with it because I usually use head panties if I cosplay things. I almost never wear my helmet out for recreational uses because I'm a bad child. And after a few moments of molding that foam, you will have a nice head panty template to place over your helmet. And pardon me, I forget people don't understand roller derby slang. Head panty means a piece of material that goes over your helmet that represents your team, or in this case, your style. Next, I'm taking the cement glue and I'm just covering my whole helmet piece. Laying it with yellow crossing tape I got on Amazon for a couple bucks and working it with the cement glue well until you have a beautiful head painting that you can actually take off your helmet. I'm now putting a couple layers of Mod Podge inside the helmet directly on the foam. I'm doing this to keep the helmet structure straight and hard so it won't easily bend in storage and maintain its shape. Feel free to do a couple layers. Next, we're going to move on to the hair. I mixed rubbing alcohol and calligraphy art ink together in two cups and made a beautiful royal light blue and an adorable pink. I put a low dosage of rubbing alcohol in my mixes because I was afraid the pigments would not hold. I can't give you exact measurements. I have done this before with other wigs, creating roots, and it's kind of like a trial and error thing. And honestly, I thought this would completely fail. I literally had a backup Harley Quinn wig in my Amazon cart just on hold, just in case this flopped. I tried the dip dye method, as you can see, and it didn't work out ideally. You really have to rub in the ink to every single part of the hair if you really want to get it nice and bright and saturated. Don't worry about getting the ends perfect because the sloppier kind of looks, actually the more realistic it looks. In the final product, I will spoil it for you a little bit, it actually turned out really good. And there you have it, two beautiful ponytails. I think I let them sit for about an hour or two before rinsing them out in cold water and then just brush them out nicely. They're still from new wigs, so they should still be not so tangly as long as you don't have a cat who likes to knock on plastic hair. And so far, since having this final finished product laying around my room for a week or two, I haven't had a problem with tangly hair. I think it's so far so good as long as you know how to treat your wigs nicely, they'll treat you nicely. So just lay these things out to dry because we're going to use them really quick. That was fast. All right, so I put my helmet on my head and measured out where I want the ponytails to lay. Beforehand, off camera, I glued the tips of the ponytails together so that it kind of makes a big clump. I used a hot glue gun to form the ponytails onto the helmet and it required a lot of glue. I'm actually really glad that we had the duct tape because the duct tape managed to just cover the volcano of glue that made this helmet possible. Oh, but we're not finished. 
I found a generic star online and just printed it to sticker paper. You can also do this with regular printer paper and just slap that thing on that helmet and then you're done. Yay, we made it. I finally finished my first ever prop tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I ho hope you guys learned something from it. Oh my god, this took me so long to make. Please like and subscribe. Love you, bye.